Today, today we're having a look at a game that is, I think, close to the demo coming out. Possibly by the time this is coming out, there'll be a demo. Um, but it is still in nice and early development, so it's called Seekers of the Eclipse. Um, the developers have been kindly enough to send me a key to check it out in its current state. Um, so let's check it out. So, speaking of leader, I'd say we've, uh, we're pretty much set to uh, Adley. But unique resources are chicken. So, not surprisingly, she's a butcher. And we start with cards in our deck, which I guess we'll find out how important uh, it is to have these cards. Okay, so action cost. So we have three action points based on the bottom left. Um, we needed resource, so that's if we need something, I guess, to build that, use that card, the name of what it is, the produced resource we get, and the building type. Okay. Welcome to the tutorial. Your objective is to destroy the enemy structure as fast as possible. To destroy it, you need energy that you get from producing resources. This will be the enemy. Of the, uh, the shadows there. Very cool. I can't remember what game that reminds me of. From like the light source. Okay. So. Fisheries obviously will gain me food and this one's flashing because it's sort of saying playing a card to build it and then it's sort of very leaning heavily to say like hey maybe build that fishery let's drag and drop okay every building produces resources if you produce enough resources at the end of each turn you will get energy and yeah, what's the value of this food and or meat will equal one energy Two chickens will equal energy, so let's build one. I need to drag it or I can't build it. New buildings must be placed next to already built ones. I'm not allowed to drag them onto the map. Okay. Two wood for each adjacent forest. That guy there, and that'll be our turn for this one. Pressing in turn costs one day. When pressed, you'll draw new cards, generate energy, and restore actions. Okay, so we got two energy. What this star means. Let's go for two more wood. That gives me sort of my three energy that I'm looking at here. So can I build a food tent? I can. What's the objection of the food tent? But I can only build it... I can build it adjacent now. Oh, I didn't like it before. I mean, do I need to keep building fisheries? I guess... Oh, I guess building the food tent upgraded the mount? Or is it that there's... Destroy enemy structure when you have enough energy. So. Okay. Destroyed. Continue towards the eclipse. Or that is what we are seeking. So that was that one. Go to the portal. Two wood for each adjacent. When destroyed, gain one wood, one iron, one coal. Um, two metal if built adjacent to rock. Big okay, quarry. Market good. Do I have money? I've got a hundred money. Okay. Destroy any card, upgrade any card. All right, so talk to me about what upgrading a card can do. Two fisheries. And it costs no... So it takes up two squares, but it costs me nothing to play. It takes up two squares, but... Give me more housing. Oh, mine, I gain more. Food tent. Quite sure what the gain is. I'm going to go for the Gatherer because that will make there be more adjacent um, 
files. Well, I wanted to find out what that was. Oh, there we go. This time I can hover over them. Relic is yours. At the start of each turn, gain stone, metal, or weapon. Okay, so the watchtower would cost me one to destroy, and the base is going to cost me 19. Areas around where I can clear, take more as well. Okay, so. Worry, I imagine I actually have to. I do have to be against a, a base. Imagine. We go. Food. Shack. Um. Some more food. I'll turn there. Seem like we have a lot of fisheries. I suppose as long as I can get the fisheries built and get to a point where I'm gaining energy, then I can like strategically I've got a little something going for me. All mine I can build adjacent to this rock. <laughs> so I can see these guys slowly coming for me. We can destroy this. We've got the one, and he's sort of starting to encroach. So let's just knock him out of here. More quarry gains. Fishery. So I guess this is saying on this side that I've got a maximum four energy that I could be making from food if I get this all the way up to that height. Um, I assume that this is going to be what I'm gaining from having housing. the workers but I am now getting three energy from these different points okay I can destroy that with three so everything now costs me three to destroy just wipe something out shack So it costs me food, I guess, to have workers. Um, bring in another food. Bring in a food tent as well. That also costs me... Because well, that's converting food into chickens, I think. So it's sort of... Seeing all my fisheries are then shifting into a different... Um, different role. So if I destroy that guy, I can then destroy all three of those in a single move because I've got the three um, coming through. So let's go stick gatherer, gatherer. Really, I want the gatherer there. If we put, say, one fishery here and then the gatherer there, I'm going to get a whole bunch of food. And I want to go the food tent. Increase the amount of chickens that we've got. So we're getting the one point from down here. Uh, and we really want to put in another fishery. So it is costing us food, making a lot of these moves, but um, it seems like that's sort of the easier commodity to come by. We've got the quarry. Why can't we sneak you in there yet? What's your objection? That. But firstly, let's put in fish. We'll get back to that level. I'll put in a shack, which assumably will make me lose my fish level. Um, but you can also see that it's pretty easy leveling the people. So we will keep going for fish. Sorry, uh, for the fisheries. But it does seem like that's more a resource that we want to use for everything else. Um, let's clear the two of these. So potentially that's what's stopping us from getting access down here. So we may as well try and give ourselves the room to continue to push down. Um, let's destroy that for three, destroy that for one. We'll still have an 
excess of four even after we did the clearing as well. So let's go fishery, fishery, um, shack will knock me off level of fishery, but it will give me another point for people. Really cozy there. Let's destroy that. We've got 10, so we're slowly working towards the 19 that we need. So it's slowly, we're probably quite aggressively working our way there. Uh, let's go to the food tent. Wait. Put that back. Let's go to the quarry. Can I now place the quarry? Oh, it still doesn't like it, but it doesn't tell me why it doesn't like that position. Okay, so we'll move that to two, and then we can just do that to move that guy back to one. And turn. So we're up to 19, but I'm going to destroy just the small guys around, so we can get to that next time. I don't know what happens when they get so close that they um they attack, so we will um find that out I guess, shortly. Uh, food tents are actually becoming a bit more expensive than just having a fishery level up. I wonder if, if I can destroy the main one that it doesn't matter if there's other little ones still alive. Like, does the level just end? If producing max energy from a resource produce one additional energy, that's a pretty good bonus. On the start of your turn, draw three more cards and gain two extra gems. Is that every turn? On your first turn. So it sort of set you up a little bit better. Three food, it converts to energy instead of five. Hmm. Oh, those are some pretty, uh, pretty hardy rewards. I don't think that that's worthwhile because if we look at this, I never hit max energy on anything. Um, even something like wood that only has two levels to it, like I need so much wood to get there. So I don't think that the fire energy is worthwhile. This would put me in a better spot for the initial start. This is food and especially because I'm the butcher, it feels like um, I'm better off leaning into that food. things okay so what these are probably a bit out of my element about what's going to be most beneficial here I mean that guy's doing food let's go to the wood carver all right let's go to the inn Get three extra days, upgrade a card. Am I running on a, like, oh, I've got block. Well, I'm going to go the three extra days. So I don't know what happens if we uh, run out. Go to the graveyard. Destroy a card. Yeah, yes, that, that was that was going to be. So if I say close, then I just... Don't destroy the card. Cost me three days to make this journey. Get three extra eight days. I don't think if there was anything that overly looked healing for the card upgrades. And the fisheries costing nothing is quite good, but they do cost extra space. Again, probably not too big a deal. Am I getting more people out of a, a shack if I upgrade it? Let's go to the food tent. If we're upgrading another card, let's um go for a shack this time. Alright, so talk to me about what we're looking at. 42 to destroy this guy. He's already got um 
five outside and then we've got a road that we can build plus five now you can see as well that we've got the gems on here so i assume if i build on a gem square then i get that gem so if we're three of three and i build on that then i get another gem and i can build again but our little meat improve cuts so we're now going to get way more for just having fisheries down um whether or not we want to jump straight into a shack and lose that um that energy that we're getting from our lose it anyway oh let's see pretty up from one energy for the for the boards there got more guys coming that we're gonna have to get rid of so let's go fishery then go shack and because it is two squares it actually does take up two so there is the benefit of that just being essentially twice um, the value of a normal shack because otherwise they're already giving me one square so we're now getting a full each time I place one of those two buildings we're actually getting an extra energy that is quite good uh quarry there's nowhere to go coal mine seemingly can just go anywhere um doesn't give me too much though that probably is probably a bit more for being adjacent to to something They're coming for us though, so we've got to start upgrading a bit more. Let's go fisheries. One fishery, two fishery, three fisheries, which will give us two energy. Um, does mean that we can now start to fight back. Single shack fishery wood carpet just gives us another one for the wood just drop us on the fishery but obviously like getting those that food from the fishery is probably a little bit easier again we're going to destroy a tower uh we will build our double shack And a zero food um, with all our shack building. But I'm not allowed to build that. Right. That's why I couldn't build that thing the other time. It's just because I didn't have the um, the resources required to build it. There we go. We get up another one for our um, people. Shack's currently doing the heavy lifting. Courtesy of the fisheries. Um, we're being wiped out. And all our food being used, but that takes us up to two more. Let's see if how easily we can get those fisheries back up and destroy this very deeply encroaching guy. Uh, we will get another shack. Just saying that these guys are going to attack our shack. Woodcarver is generally a pretty unfortunate. Would this guy in? Gonna get attacked. Will be enough that we can destroy that guy. We can't destroy this guy. Um. All right. So more fishery and another fishery to get that to four. He's now maxed out. Um. Food ten. Good. So we can destroy that guy and destroy that guy. So we won't lose anything this... Oh no, we will lose something this turn because they're coming hard and fast at this stage. Okay, so we can build this guy to give us an extra point there. We can then build another fishery. Get us back to three. And then another fishery. Get that back to four. We'll say goodbye to that guy. And we're going to say goodbye to that guy. Uh, the good news is that we're not 
<clears throat> under threat, so we are going to have that, like at least a net gain on this one. We clearly want to be building backwards uh, at this stage based on the way that they're encroaching on us. Um, one fishery will max us back out for that. We've got two points, so let's go a shack. Slowly progress that guy a little bit, and then we'll go a fishery. We now understand the value of these lines. Destroying the guys that do have a line getting created. Okay, food tent. That's another point here. Wood carver. Shack. Shack will cost us another thing, so let's just put in another fishery. So destroy one, destroy two, uh, let's destroy three. It does feel like progress if we're pushing back that many. And more workers. Still, I don't feel like we've hit anywhere that would give us a... I mean, it's only bonus medals, I guess, if we're actually adjacent to something. It doesn't matter if we're not adjacent. It's probably more important that we actually just get a more wider variety of things that we could be pulling money from. So, end turn there. So we're under threat three different ways. So this guy's actually attacking our base because we don't have anything defending on this side. So we're going to have to let that guy um, destroy our shack because it's probably the finest thing to lose. I'll build the food tent. I wonder if we still have enough food. So if I build that. Oh, what do you want? Not sure what you're after. Stick gatherer. All mine. It's really these coal mine ones that we're not getting anything from that, that I probably need to work a bit more into the strategies here. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we want to go one, two, three. We're still going to lose something. We are certainly on the back foot. See, I need to clear out backwards a bit too. I've, I've just put him in threat. So that guy's going to get go on in one go. Unless I guess maybe do that. It's actually a really good strategy. What I can do is this guy's going to get rid of a shack. But what if I put that there? He's then just going to get rid of the fishery. Okay, so we are going to say, destroy this guy. I guess the suggestion here is if I don't destroy, if I destroy this guy, these two are going to... Oh, I thought they were going to like take it upon themselves to put in the attack. Maybe they will. Uh, yeah, I'll put that close to him just so that that's the thing under threat. Um, let's go a shack and let's go a fishery. This guy here, he's not, he's not saying he's going to attack something, but I so we could probably assume he's going to. Let's just... Oh, there's this guy here. Some sneaky ones that get around that you don't notice. Okay, so we want the double shack. Clear backwards. Um, I want a coal mine. See them progress, and then let's go with fishery. Yeah, 
Okay, so we're gonna destroy that guy for seven, destroy this guy for six. Obviously we like have a little bit of a penalty if um make sure they don't have him target that. No, what are you targeting? Anything? Another fishery. Get that to max. Good carver. We're really getting now, um, with how, um, why weren't you declaring that you were going to attack me? Declare your intentions, please. Okay, um, I think that I can now see the, the much more significant benefit of the extra bonus if I've got something maxed out. Now, even with... How long this fight's gone. The only thing that's ever maxing is food. Um, so possibly not as... I mean, like, obviously, the longer this goes for, the, the more value that comes. But I need to build, like, a wall of fisheries in front of this guy just to have him as a, as a last line of protection. But it feels very much on the back foot that every turn... We're just like fighting off four guys. Like we're we're not gaining energy at all. We haven't yet pushed an advantage. Um, I kind of feel like I am starting to have to clear land in order to get. Get what we need. The fact that nothing's maxed out really means I can continue to build any building. That's um that's coming up to offer. You can see that probably it's we're just about done with shacks. We're getting full max for them. Destroy him, destroy him, destroy him. This guy's not in range. No, you can see he's red line range. Oh, maybe he's going to destroy that. So let's, um, yeah, there you go. There's his intention. Let's put that in front of him. Uh, all mine. It's these tiny little ones I'm gaining nothing from that. <laughs> All right, destroy him. I would prefer if it had two, if they were both pointing at the thing that get an attack. If I destroy this guy here, this guy here is going to attack the same thing anyway. So, like, just tell me that's what's coming. Because it's now going to, not going to tell me. But I, if I place this here, he's going to say, well, I'm going to attack that. It's like, oh, I knew that. But I certainly would have overlooked it. Um previous life. How are we doing person-wise? So if we put this down, then that'll max us out for people. We're getting a full eight from that. All right, so we're gonna get rid of these guys that are starting to hug us. Those two, um, this guy is going to destroy something. Uh, I think that guy's within range too, and this guy. That was a pretty successful sort of pushback though, I feel. Okay, Shaq's no longer needed. Uh, coal mine is needed. So close to getting two more points, courtesy of those guys. Food. Back around the edge, so we've got to get rid of this guy, and that guy, and this guy, and that guy, and we gain four. It's on a slow move of maybe being able to advance. Maybe. Um, if I go one fishery there, I place fishery there. I've got to clear this area. Okay, so let's 
clear this area. Let's put the fishery there. Let's put a coal mine there so we gain an extra turn. We've also now maxed on our um whatever that is. Iron, maybe. Go a stick gatherer. And a food tent. It's chickens. Wouldn't mind if there was like a subtotal here because I've now got so many that's just telling me how many I expect to make next turn. Destroy, 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 destroy. There's nothing else around. I'm curious what this. Oh, okay, so that was just my max. So is that under threat? Uh, that should just be a permanent thing, but it now means that we get four moves per turn. Now we're on the offensive. Okay. Woodcarver. Yes. Shack. Don't need it. Fishery. 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 Yeah, we are pushing forward now. Um, because we don't really need to build anything. I wonder if I build an extra, um, fishery that when it does come next turn and I use it, it won't like, like it will take those first two as opposed to um, needing to eat into like, like it doesn't sort of say, oh, you're already maxed out. So you're only going to gain a negative, uh, like I'm, I'm too over capped. So if I spend like any here, then I don't go backwards for, until I've sort of spent those initial two. What I'm rambling makes sense. Okay, so... And we don't really need fisheries at this point. We don't need a shack, so let's just end turn. Worry. All mine. Food tent's what's giving me chicken. Yeah, there you go. So I went down to there, but it didn't sort of stop my cap being where it is. So I can actually build in excess of, of what I have if I think it's something I'm going to use a lot. All right, destroy, 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 destroy. Still have 10 left. So let's pick off those last two towers. Um, build sort of inward. Excess fishery. I was say, I wonder if it was would have been valuable to um get that row tile sooner, so I was getting the four. I don't think that I had um. Like, I think I was playing defense for so much in that early game that I didn't really have a choice. So I can't afford to destroy this guy. If I do that, it does end the game, so I don't need to worry about the, um, the other towers. Start with a fishery. Start combat with five energy. That's pretty good. Reduce a re random resource when a building is built next to the starting platform. I mean, none of these are anywhere near as good as the three that I got offered on the last one. But I would say the five energy. That would probably be our best one. So that's working in foods that we've already got. Destroyed. I mean, if that costs nothing, that would be a pretty good card to sort of play. Um, with a wagon builder. But that also is uh, is us done uh, for this one as we sort of continue into eclipse and into a new world. Um, 
Yeah, that was fun. Um, strategy wise, it sort of was really hooking into me in the end there. So any uh, questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Uh, and until next time, catch you later. See ya.